So the other day we had some pretty crazy wind here in Pinedale. It's like hurricane type wind. So what I've heard is that it's blown down a bunch of trees on a lot of the trails that are kind of up the Skyline Drive Road. A lot of the trails that have timber on them. So I'm going to drive up the road. I'm going to catch a trail or two and just see how far I can get on some of these and hopefully just survey the damage, see how much work is going to be involved in clearing these trails. And hopefully, you know, the majority of it's still rideable, but if not, may put an end to the uh, mountain bike season, at least up in this direction. Still quite a bit of trails out on the Mesa where there's no trees, just sagebrush. But we'll find out. I'm going to be riding what I call the new Sweeney Creek Trail. It's one that is being worked on. Put several miles worth on it last year. In the process of finishing up this year. It should be pretty fun once you get it all done. Maybe a nice little loop. Some good downhill, good flowy downhill. So, as I'm traveling down these two tracks, I notice there's some spots where some branches have been cleared out, some stuff cut down. So, it looks like obviously there are some down trees. We'll just see how bad it gets and how far it's been cleared out. Definitely there's been somebody up here doing some work because I can just see little branches everywhere and cut logs on the side of the road. I can see right here to my right. Hopefully it's still pretty clear all the way to the top and mostly to the top. Maybe if we're lucky, this east side of the hill got shaded from the wind a little bit. I'll uh, cross my fingers on that one. Johnny, come on! Several really good climbs on this trail. Good workout. has been pretty clear but we'll be getting into the timber up here on the corner that'll probably tell us a lot here's your first sets of trees so we got at least three of it there's another tree down so I'll stop walk around it and I'll blame it on the tree instead of just the fact that I can never climb this anyway. Whew. Oh yeah so this is kind of what I expected in this area. Whew. Just trees down everywhere. Series no help. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's kind of disheartening because this is a really fun section to just zip down. Not very fun to uh, walk around. It's crazy, all this down timber though. Someone spilled a box full of toothpicks. And we'll see what it's like once we get up to the top of this ridge. There's kind of some open flat space for a while that should be clear, but then we'll get back up into the timber. Might just have the same problem. I expected that section to be pretty bad. Hopefully that's the worst of it. A lot of wildfires out west right now. Really smoky, really hazy. This is where they've added some new trail. I actually haven't ridden this fork to the right yet. I think eventually the plan is this section that loops up near the top is going to loop around and catch into this part of the trail so you have a nice little lollipop shape, which I always like. I like doing loops rather than out and backs. Last time I did this trail, I started about 45 minutes later than I did tonight, which was too late. And I got out here and was trying to race the sun to the top of this trail. And I probably should have turned around about 10, 15 minutes earlier than I did, but I was like, man, I'm just so close to the end. I just want to get to the top. So I pushed it, stopped at the top, got some nice sunset pictures, turned around, came down, and then visibility was just really, really sketchy. I could barely see the trail. Oh, took another little tree up here. So anyways, I just fought it as best I could. Once I got back down to, out of these trees, that flat section, I stopped and put my headlamp on. In the process I had these glasses on and just a little string around them so they'd hang around my neck. So I thought I was good. I continued riding, it got pretty dark. I've seen eyeballs on the trail. It was kind of freaky. Pretty sure they were owls. But uh, got to the car, got my stuff put in started headed down the road, looked over at my helmet and pack and stuff, and was like, where's my glasses? Looked all over, like, oh dang, did I drop those? I thought maybe I dropped them in the parking lot when I took my water pack off. So I drove back up to the parking lot, put my headlights out to where I thought they might be, looked all over, no luck. I was like, dang it. So they're on the trail some way, somewhere. So I rode up the trail just a little bit, but it was so dark. So I just went home. I said, man, I think I just gotta come back up first thing in the morning. Cause it's gonna be a pretty popular trail during the day. So I'm like, if I wait till after work, somebody's gonna come get these and they'll be gone. 
So, got up about 5.30, took my fat bike, because it has a nice light on top of it, and uh, rode up about 1.2 miles up the trail. There they were, sitting right in the trail. So, pretty nice glasses, so I thought, oh, that was totally worth it. All right. This is a lot of timber. This is a big time problem here. So, so this is kind of what I anticipate the rest of the way up. Just that wind had its way with the trees, that's for sure. So this puts a damper on the mountain bike season a little bit. And I'm sure there's other trails to ride around town, but these are some of the funnest. Nice to get up in the timber, get some shade and whatnot. Yeah, this is pretty bad. That is definitely a flow buster. Probably spend days and weeks just clearing all this stuff out. Charlie thinks she's a squirrel hunter. I don't think she's ever caught a squirrel in her life. Charlie, where's the squirrel? Where's the squirrel? Go get it. Where'd it go? Where is it, huh? Where's the squirrel? Where'd it go? You don't know. So there you have it. The flow buster. Well, so maybe what I'll do is go back to where that trail splits off, where they added some new trail and just try it out. Go on that one as far as I can go and then head back. Thanks a lot, 2020. I mean, COVID wasn't enough. You had to throw a hurricane at us. All right, well, we'll try out this other trail. See what it looks like. I've never been on it before. So we'll go tell the trees ruin this one too. Someone could spend weeks probably clearing all this timber. Well, looks like I'm headed home.
through this one. Oh. Sometimes it's good to be short. Let's keep going, Charlie. I'm usually waiting for you. or what? Well, my fears were confirmed. So pretty much unrideable. I mean, there's a few sections here and there, but the majority of the trail is not rideable, which is a bummer because that's a fun trail. And I would guess that the other trails up in this area are about the same, so not sure exactly what's going to happen. I imagine at some point they'll go clear it out, but how soon that'll occur and whether that'll even happen this season or not, I don't know. So again, crazy, crazy that we got that wind. It was about a week ago. Just the wind was blowing all night long. I'm not exactly sure how fast it was going. Probably at least 60 miles an hour. Probably gusts a little bit more than that. Mother Nature's not to be messed with, that's for sure.